Hi, my name is Perry Sessions from Mesa Digital Marketing and I'm going to show you how to create a post using the bridge theme and add a featured image to that post and set up your blog page in general. So first thing you want to do is log into your website and then there is an option in the admin panel for posts. We're going to go ahead and click post. Um, we're not going to hit add newer categories just yet. I'll explain a bit about those in just a second. So now we get a list. These are all posts that have been automatically imported or created by the, the demo for this theme, the bridge theme. So we can just pick any one of them. Um, let's, let's go ahead and pick, I picked this protein one already. You can click view to see the page. Um, now this is the inside of the blog post, the actual content. So there, let me just explain some of the elements that are here. So this blog post is showing a title. It's got the background image set to it. These are all things we can change and edit. And then it also has a widget to search um, and recent posts. That's another part of the widget. The sidebar is kind of full of options. We'll show you how to edit those. And then there is a featured image that shows above or very first and then the date and the title. So you'll edit the title and this will change whatever you need it to be. Um, uh, a lot of other options, who it's by, automatically put in there, how many comments. The bridge theme does have automatic comments, okay? So we can just edit the post, and I've already got that open here, and um, start adding to it and taking away to it that way. For, I just, I mean, I just gave you an uh, overview of the inside of the post. Let's look at the blog page as a whole. So this, um, this white bar doesn't usually show here, it's just on the inside. It just looks like this for admin, but the, the home page, we also have the blog page at the top. When you click there, it shows all of your recent blogs, right? This page is set up automatically by the theme to look like this. I mean, there's no featured images for this for these posts, so it's not showing one. But um, what we want to do is we want to edit this page. I want it to look a little bit different. Um, you may have different preferences how to do it. Bridge theme gives multiple methods of doing this. You can assign a page to be a certain blog type and style. I'm just going to, they use the, this is just a page they used and then they added an element to it. And I'll show you, here's the inside of the page. And there it is, latest blog post. That's what's showing those boxes, okay? And then they just have an extra element for a slider, which we don't need. I'm just going to trash that right now. Um, I just added to this before the video, the template. The template I selected is the blog small image. It's one of my favorite templates for this one. It displays a small image to the left of text and a title on the right. Um, now, that's not, you didn't see it initially, but if I go back to the page and scroll down, so there's the top part element, there's that slider that I just deleted, I haven't refreshed the page. Here's the small image, okay? And I'll explain what's going on, what you're seeing, all this short code, but that's the title and the dates, and there's the comments and the author. Short code is the page or post excerpt, which you can edit in the inside of the post. Um, and then here's one of their example ones, right? It's got everything all stylized better. And then you can um, click on the image to go to the blog post or the title or the read more button, which I like. I like to have lots of options people choose. And it looks great on mobile and on desktop. Let's show you that now. Duplicate that here. So there's the top. Let's scroll to where we got to the small images. So it's got an image, title, text. I love that. Okay, and the next post. I think that's a great setup. So. We can, now that we like this new way, we can just delete what they had in the blog page template. A lot of bridge theme demos don't come with a blog page template. Um, to set it up, just create a new page like this. It's just a blank new page in WordPress. And then just change the template to be whatever you need it to be. Just blog something. Um, you can do the masonry, masonry side up style. This is another really cool one with the date in the image. I like this one a lot. If you have a lot of blog posts, this one works great. So we'll update it to that. And then let's refresh the page. And now it's showing us, I like, I love the, the layout of this one. It's, you know, more columns, kind of more all in one. You can see right away what's happening. So this works great with lots of blog posts. You can even make a gallery, put a video in there, um, depending on what type of post you choose. Okay, so now we have an idea of how to set up the blog page. Again, create the page, select the template. That works best for you. Now let's look at the uh, inside of the, the post itself. So this one's set to a standard format. So you wanted the gallery effect for images, that's where you click the gallery, and then you'll get, um, so right now we just have a featured image option on the bottom right. If I click the gallery option, 
I think it's either here at the top. It looks like it showed up at the top. There he goes. So the gallery type, slider, uh, or masonry gallery. Choose it and then input your images wherever those are. We don't use those a ton, but they're here. If I can find them, I'll let you know in a future post. But um, you might have to save it first as a gallery, and then it gives you the options. Let's test that. Let it reload here. And um, nope, still got a featured image tags, but uh, you can add to that gallery. I'll figure it out and come back to you. But for now, I mean, the most basic is going to be the standard way. So in a standard post, if you, again, you want a featured image to show up at the very top, select it here. You can remove the image and pick a new one. If you click on it, it just brings up the media library. And then um, after you select the image, the, this post has a bunch of um, content, de default content. You can delete it all and start your new one. By the way, an easy way to delete everything is to go to the back end mode and then just control all and delete. Uh, in this case, this is fine. And um, the next big part, I'm not going to go over how to edit this. I've done that in several other of our videos. You can see how to edit with Visual Composer. Um, just text and images is what you're going to use for blog, right? Uh, or a video. But now categories. For SEO purposes, that's a lot of times why you have a blog post. You want it to get noticed on Google. And you want to have it organized for your, your audience. So you want to categorize something you can have one category in our web um, website we have our blog a lot of wordpress things so it just goes into wordpress but then you want it to be seo friendly the tags really help with this and uh, you can choose from the most used tags or create one new ones for that specific post so if you're doing wordpress you can say wordpress business and whatever you put in here hit add it starts to be a new one so you can do the most used ones and it'll show you some of the previous ones and if you select those it adds the ones you're using down here. So my, you know, those are already added to there. So if I didn't want opportunities, push exit, and then opportunities, I can pull it back in. This button will always be to choose the most used. So if you see nothing um, for your tags, click that button and it'll show more. If, the, if you have no tags, start creating them, and the future ones will show the ones you've used in the past. So that's categories and the, and the, the setup and the tags and the feature image. The next part I want to talk about is this, Yoast uh, SEO plugin. Um, this is just a basic idea of each post. Again, you want to have good SEO, so download the free software. It's a plugin called Yoast. Just type that in to your plugins and get it downloaded and activated. And now every time you make a post, make sure it's a very catchy title that people would type in. Even if it's a little bit longer, make sure it's something they type into, um, into the internet to find. And then if you have your link set up correctly, you should be able to see edit. And um, if you don't see this, you're going to have to go over to settings and then to permalinks and choose a custom setup for categories um, and the post name instead of uh, ID numbers. But then you can edit this, make sure it's the same as the title. It puts those dashes in there, so keep it. So I copied the title and I'm going to scroll down to the Yoast focus keyword and just paste it in there. And now it changed from a gray circle to an orange one saying it's a pretty good idea and it'll give you a lot of ideas how to change it to make it green. And then your readability is another great resource like are you saying, uh, or do you have transitional phrases? Is it uh, run on sentences? You want to be kind of conversational language seems to show up the best in um, SEO references. So keep them, you know, you've read good posts before. Keep them like the ones you read. And that's it. Once you click update, um, the changes will be reflected automatically. So I'll just talk a little bit about how blogs work. When you create a new post in the post section, it automatically appears on the blog page. Okay, so right now the 24th of February is the most recent. So I can, let's make one before that. Okay, so all I do to, if I want to make a new blog post is add new. I'm not going to add a whole lot to this or do anything. I'm just going to show you that it shows up with a new image. Um, that's kind of the nice feature of the blog page, just aggregates everything and shows it at one place. And um, once this loads, let's just do the back or the normal editor, add a text block, and then we're going to set the featured image. Let's do our Mesa Digital Marketing logo. Okay, so the image is set. Um, if you don't see the excerpt, meaning that short code is going to keep showing because Visual Composer has that short code. 
Um, this is what's showing, by the way, it's this. So we don't want that to show. So we hit the screen options in the top right. We look for the excerpt. Oops, I'm doing Command F to pull that up. And there it is. So we check that box and it will save for us and show. Scroll back down, there it is. Okay. That will show instead of the short code. And we're gonna put, um, I, well, let's put this in art. And business doesn't matter right now and hit publish. And if we did it correctly, it will show here as the newest post, the date as today's date. And there's our featured image with our excerpt. Okay, so um, again, this is just a brief tutorial on how to get things set up with your blog posts and your blog page. Um, hopefully that's helpful for you and you know how to stylize it. You can play around and see what looks best and works best for your setup. So thanks so much for watching and we hope to see you in the future videos.